probably put something up in the ceiling and then the energy acceptor. Uh, I'm not too sure I want to put the energy cell in the ceiling or anything important up there in case somebody gets found on the roof by a creeper that really wants a hug and uh, is able to get that hug. I don't want to like lose all of my inventory to a creeper. Um, so I was thinking maybe in the basement, somewhere away from walls maybe, I might put it just in here. Uh, we'll see, and then like run the cable across the floor. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for the floor. I think I want to make a viewing deck, something with like glass all the way around. Maybe a few support structures. Uh, we'll see. For now, I probably need some more glass cable. And I definitely need an ME drive. So I need an inscriber. Sticky pistons. I know how to make those. And I'm just going to put this here for now. Oops. Ah. Okay. So, wood across the top. Cobble. Cobble. Okay, so iron, 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 and a flux. There's our inscriber. Calculation engineering. Now does that have power? It does, okay. All right. Silicone press and two. And then I need redstone. I think there's some in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's two. So, two in here. Oh, I can only do one at a time. That's what I thought. All right, now we have an engineering processor. Okay, so ME drive is iron cable and engineering processor. Cable. Iron. Engineering processor. Okay. Um, I don't really have anything to do with that right now, so I'm just going to leave that there. Next, we need... Actually, let's go ahead and move this. Uh, let's put down a little bit of cable here. Oops. Just put that there. And this here. We need a terminal. Uh, a crafting terminal is the one that I want. But before we need that, or before we get that, we need um, cells. What are they called? Yeah, storage cell. Okay. So probably start off with a 1K. 1K ME storage component. So we need a logic processor, which is going to be gold, logic, and silicone. I really wish I could automate this. I probably can. Okay, so gold and logic. So two of these, count that, and more iron. Okay, we can uh, jam these 1K storage into there, and they're on. So everything seems to be working pretty good. Now we just need a terminal, which is the most painful part of the process. So, crafting terminal. Uh, you need a regular terminal, 
which requires a formation and annihilation core. So let's first make a logic processor just to get that out of the way. Okay, so that's three. We can take that down and put up one of these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just spawn in the roof? Where he probably spawned right there, didn't he? I still need to go fix that wall and get rid of this. Oh wait, no, that's part of that overhang, okay. So yeah, I need to just, oh, it's, it's here. That's where it is. Came right in from there. Good pathfinding. And it looks like that is done. Then iron, we need more iron. Oh wait, was that, that was three. Okay, so that's perfect. Yeah, okay. Um, formation and annihilation. Charged or just regular? Regular or pure, okay. So we need even more logic processors now. I bet the annihilation core requires the same, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, 10 logic processors. So we have our illuminated panel. Oops, too far. And we need a crafting table and a calculation processor. Uh, so that's pure, pure crystal and a uh, calculation press. Where's our pure? They're over here. Calculation, calculation. I think we just need two of these for now. Okay, two calculation processors. I need that to be a terminal, so. Okay, a uh, logic processor, flux dust, and uh, just a regular pure crystal, okay. So one, two, one, two, and one, two. Do I need that? I don't think I need that many. Just need two for now. Formation and annihilation is quartz. I have some pure quartz crystals. I'll use those. Okay, so formation and annihilation it's different oh and then um, processor okay me terminal and then one more okay two crafting terminals and then an illuminated panel so now we can finally access our AE2 system. Now it's time to just actually get everything set up. And I'm going to take a quick break before I get into that. Okay, so we're gonna knock out this wall and we're gonna do so from the roof. Let's go ahead and uh, craft up solar panels. Where's crafting, crafting. What? Is that not fused quartz? Uh, photo. Voltaic. Vibrant pulsating vibrant alloy. Enlightened fused quartz. Uh, so fused quartz and glowstone. Okay. 40 RF per tick, so that should be plenty. Now, where do we want this to go? We need it to come in over here. Uh, let's see, we need to come down right here. And I think we'll probably put it one out from the wall. Um, so let's actually just 
do that to start. And then we'll make it into the floor. I think I'm fine with it being on this wall, but I think I would want it here rather than like coming out from the brick. Um, I don't know, maybe it would look good right there. So let's do this. And just mark that there. And uh, we're going to put this on the roof somewhere. So probably somewhere that's back out of the way. So maybe here would be a good spot. Let's go grab the um, energy acceptor. And we should probably... Um, yeah, let's, let's grab the energy conduit because I want to run that down too. Because I want to move these inside. Um, yeah, let's grab the energy acceptor and some more conduits. I wonder if the facades work for the conduits as well. Not that way, this way. Okay. Um, so how far over? We might have to go over here. Uh, let's see, I built out the second floor, which is pretty cool. Um, let's put a ceiling in and put in glass so you get a very nice look of uh, what about, about 90, uh, a little bit more, about 120-ish degrees or so. Uh, there's our pipe coming up from downstairs. So I think we'll run that straight across. I don't think, I mean, maybe I could put it right here. Uh, uh, then I have access to it on this side, but I might as well just put it over here. Let's go ahead and remove like this one. Yeah, like these two. And put energy acceptor here. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And then a conduit there and then the photovoltaics on top. And those aren't very efficient, are they? 53%, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, she just suffocated in a wall. I'm not sure how. Uh, let's go. So let's run this straight down. Let's see, we're coming down from here. And that's there. So, um, yeah, let's, let's run our glass cable down from the energy acceptor. And put our ME drive Let's see, where should we put our ME drive? I guess maybe it should stay up here. I would like it to be in the wall, and then there'd be like a hidden... Maybe we could put a painting on the wall, and then cover up uh, a hidden pathway into a room that has it. So let's go ahead and put our ME drive here, and then we'll do storage there. make this small little space here for now. Um, probably don't need that. So that'll be what we need. Oh, 
Oops. So put that there. And take that back. And then I think we'll run the conduit down. Let's run it over here. Just to keep them separate. Okay, so that's the last one of those. I need to make some more. Uh, now I need facades. Oh, right, which I need to run this over. I forgot about that. Uh, so that'll go kind of over and then up and then over. I think is the way that we're going to do that. So that way, that's this block, right? Yeah. So that way... Um, I have the the house wired on both sides in case I need to run another terminal or something we need cable anchors so four all around and the oak that's yeah that's oak oak in the middle and probably more than eight of those I'm 20 should be enough. Let's, let's do 24, just be on the safe side. And then probably about 12. Let's do 16, just to make absolutely sure we have enough. Okay. doesn't work on there. That sucks. Okay, so that looks good. What am I going to do with that conduit? I'll have to research that and figure out what will go there. Okay, uh, I think it's time to move this. Let's grab this and that and that. And just all of this. Uh, let's get rid of the facades for now. Why don't? Why do I have four cable anchors? Oh, it's because they were in the crafting. Okay. Um. So let's put this here. All right, and we need that facade. Not that one. The other one. Okay. And then our ME drive goes in here. There we go. Put our energy cell there, which is gaining power like it should. Uh, probably going to have to upgrade those, add some more something. Uh, need a painting there. I will have to look into that because I've never done that before. Everything else looks good. We'll go back down. This looks okay, I guess. I could probably put that there and then move this wall in if I really had to. It's already kind of crammed the kitchen. Hmm... But it is nice to just kind of like you can sit here and access everything except for the, those shelves. Maybe put the shelves up here. Um, get in the ME system 
fridge and everything. Nothing on the back wall. Might want to bring this up one something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, now, where am I going to put the inscriber? I think I'm just going to put the inscriber right here. In case I want to create something more later. Put that there. I guess it doesn't really need it. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Although, maybe they look better above. Uh, design. I'll probably revamp that. And now it is time to bring, uh, well, power in for one. And uh, more importantly, the Ender IO stuff. So let's grab all of this. first, I guess. 66. So it's not bad. It's not good, though. I'll probably change something. Uh, mainly I want this so I can just grab it and then uh, take it with me to get oil. Sag mill and alloy smelter. And then I want a painter as well. Uh, maybe I'll put the painter up there. Let's move that to there. Okay, painting machine. Let's throw that up there, and now we can take um, this thing. That's what it was. Okay. I believe that should connect. Oh, it doesn't. That sucks. Um... Hmm. Can I make it invisible? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to get back to decorating and uh, finally got all of these chests out of here. Except for that one. And uh, we're... We're in the process of moving all of that farm up to this hill, which will be really cool. And then we're gonna get those animals probably up over here. I don't know, they might be too loud, so we might not. But yeah, and then we'll probably move these trees as well. Get it kind of looking a little bit more nice and not so strange to have a floating garden of dirt without anything that's making the dirt floating. And I was wanting to use this as the launch pad because it's right here at sea level, uh, which is perfect for launching rockets into space. But um, the horses kind of took it over. So we might do something different with those or I might find a different launch pad. I don't know, we'll see. 